Hello! For today, we are going to talk about our former president Fidel V. Ramos and his contributions to science and technology. This report is brought to you by Group 2. Fidel Valdez Ramos was born on March 18, 1928. Popularly known as FVR and Eddie, is a retired Filipino general and politician who served as the 12th president of the Philippines from 1992 to 1998. In fact, Fidel V. Ramos is the only officer in the country to have every military rank from second lieutenant to commander-in-chief into becoming a president. Ramos, the 12th president of the Philippines, is remembered for steadfastly promoting the principles of people empowerment and global competitiveness. In 1993, he put an end to the power crisis that crippled Filipino homes and industries for two years. Economic, technological development, and political stability were all achieved and witnessed during Ramos' term of presidency. He was also efficient in delivering the basic needs of the people. Fidel B. Ramos believes that science and technology was one of the means when the Philippines could attain the status of new industrialized country, so that during his term, he was able to establish programs that were significant to the field of science and technology. In 1993, Science and Technology Agenda for National Development or STAND was established. It emphasizes the development and utilization of superior technologies to a level of competent advantage. It spells out also the areas which will be the focus of scientific and technological uh, efforts in 1993 and 1998. Among the priorities of STAND were 1. Exporting winners identified by the DTI 2. Domestic needs identified by the President's Council for Countryside Development. 3. Support Industries. And lastly, Coconut Industry Development. In Isona, year 1992, he asked the Congress to make a law that will establish a reliable Department of Energy. But instead, he was granted to execute his emergency power in order to solve the country's energy crisis. So the reason why Ramos asked the Congress to make a law is to respond to the alarming shortage of electricity supply during that period. But instead of making a law, he was granted an emergency power. So this is also known as the Electric Power Crisis Act of 1993. Moving on to the significant loss that is related in science and technology under the previous president, Fidel V. Ramos, he believed that science and technology was one of the means wherein the Philippines could attain the status of the new industrialized country or NIC. During his term, he was able to establish programs that were significant to the field of science and technology. In Congress, during his term, he was able to enact laws that were significant for the field. Among them were Magna Carta for Science and Technology Personnel in 1997, Science and Technology Scholarship Law in 1994, Inventors and Inventions Incentives Act of 1993, the Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines in 1997. Now we are going to discuss each one of them, starting with Republic Act Number no. 8439, otherwise known as Magna Carta for Science and Technology Personnel, that was established in 1997. Magna Carta for Scientists, Engineers, Researchers, and other science and technology personnel in the Government Act is its full name. This is to expand state support for Filipino science workers and empower their efforts towards their country's development. Its also priority is for science and technology personnel to increase. With the passing of this law, schools were becoming more and more modernized and updated. With the addition of high technology equipment for students, improvement 
and the teachers were getting training programs to enhance their capabilities and further help their students better. The second one is Republic Act number 7687, also known as Science and Technology Scholarship Law of 1994. This provides scholarship to talented and deserving students whose families' socioeconomic status do not exceed the set cutoff values of certain indicators given by the government. The government provided 3,500 scholarships for students who were taking up professions related to science and technology. Adding to the increase of scientists would be the result of two newly built Philippine science high schools in Visayas and Mindanao, which promotes further development of young kids through advanced science and technology curriculum. The one in Visayas is, uh, is commonly known as Pisay, and the one in Mindanao is called Philippine Science High School of Southern Mindanao, Campus. The third one is Republic Act Number 7459, also known as Inventors and Inventions Incentives Act of 1993. This is an act providing incentives to Filipino inventors and expanding the functions of the Technology Application and Promotion Institute, appropriating funds, therefore, and for other purposes. This law was established in order to give incentives and rewards for people who have been influential in the field of science and technology. The last one is Republic Act No. 8293, the Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines in 1997. This was enacted during President Ramos' term. The law provides industrial property rights, copyrights, and related rights and technology transfer arrangements. This law shall protect and secure the exclusive rights of scientists, inventors, artists, and other gifted citizens to their intellectual property and creations, particularly when beneficial to the people, for such periods as provided in this act. Good morning. I will be reporting the actual science and technology policies and its impact. There were noticeable improvements regarding science and technology as stated in Fidel Ramos, President Fidel Ramos' State of the Nation Address. In his third zona, there were a significant increase in personnel specializing in the science and technology field, or it is also known as Magna Carta for Science and Technology for Personnel, or the Republic Act No. 8439. It is an essential element for the attainment of the national development and progress. 1998, the Philippines was established to have around 3,000 competent scientists and engineers. Adding to, the, adding to the increase of scientists would be the result of the new, newly built Philippine Science High Schools in Visayas and Mindanao, which promotes further development of young kids through advanced science and technology curriculum, or it is also known as Science and Technology Scholarship Law of 1994 or the Republic Act Number no. 7687. And... In 1993, President Fidel B. Ramos issued two executive orders that sought to demonopolize the telecommunication, telecommunication industry that was then dominated by the Philippine Long Distance tele Telephone Company or the PLDT. By encouraging competitions from new small players, Ramos hoped to address the problems back then of backlogs in landline subscription in the countryside. Healthcare services were promoted through local programs such as Doctors to the Barrio program. The healthcare programs were innovative and effective as shown by the change in life expectancy from 67.5 years in 1992 to 69.1 years in 1995. In the 6th zone, education was one of the primary storylines wherein programs such as National Program for Gifted Filipino Children in Science and Technology and the enactment of a law creating a nationwide system of high schools specializing in the field of science and engineering. Requiring all Philippine diplomatic and consular posts to assist in organizing expert trade Filipino scientists, technologists, engineers, and allied professionals in their juri jurisdiction into overseas chapters of Philippine Science and Technology Advisory Council or STOCS. Overseas chapter of 
Science and Technology Advisory Councils or STOCs have been organized by Filipino in New York, Washington, D.C., San Francisco, Los Angeles, Chicago, Detroit, Houston, New Orleans, Honolulu, Ottawa, Vancouver, Toronto, Stockholm, You're listening to podcast.ph. I'm still, I'm still working on this, no? That uh, will be, meaning the Philippines will really be very powerful mm-hmm. in terms of uh, not only the global economy, but also in education, in uh, innovation, mm-hmm. science and technology. If our 100 million population is all quality population na walang nagpapalimos 